Guy is the enforcer from BeAWinningTrader.com, and this is my market analysis for the week commencing on the 20th of November 2023 on some of the instruments that I trade, such as the FTSE, the DAX, commodity markets such as gold and crude oil, and two or three of the major Forex markets. So I'm going to begin my analysis, so I am at the uh, at, with looking at the FTSE, I should say, on a weekly basis, uh, uh, on a weekly chart. Now, we have got a very bullish weekly bar for the week that just closed on Friday past. And because we've been trading last week, the week previous to, to, to the week just closed, we we're trading inside a previous bullish weekly bar um, with the probability based on price action analysis of that high of 74.88 being broken to the upside. And indeed, last week we done that because we went up to a high of 75.43. Um, so my um, objectives for the FTSE, um, again, you can see the four-hour chart. We've got blue price bars based on my using my proprietary software trading tool. But my objective when we go to the daily chart, again, Friday's close on a daily bar basis was a bullish close because it closed closer to the high than to the low. And therefore, that's indicating that the highs of Friday should be broken to the upside um, before the lows. So any retracements on the um, FTSE, I will be using as opportunities from which to go long. So let us now look at another market and we will look at the DAC. Again, I'm looking at the weekly bar of the DAX here. You can see that we have closed very bullish. We're close at the very top. So we have. And the DAX here, quite significantly here, there's a low, significant low down here. And then we had another low here. Now that's a higher low. You can see that if I just continue that horizontal line across, you can see that that there is a higher low. Those lines not, might not be very straight, but I hope you get the gist. And this here was a bearish daily bar, a weekly bar rather, on the DAX going back um, three, four weeks past. And we broke up and took the high of that bearish weekly bar before we broke the low. And that again is like flipping a coin on its head. That's turning a bearish scenario into a bullish scenario on a weekly basis. And the DAX really hasn't looked back. Yes, last week it was a low volatility week, or the week prior, prior to last week, I should say. And then again, we had this massive um, big range, an expanded range um, on the DAX. Now, again, because we're close, close to the highs, there may be a, a retracement. But again, I will be using that retracement on the DAX. Um, when you look at the daily bar chart, you can see what if we had one all every bully every day last week was a bullish day. And again, we're coming up to previous resistance lines over here, which were previous um they and I were um, resistance lines, we're coming up to that resistance line again. So there's more mileage up around sixteen thousand forty-four. Um and the DAX then maybe may take a little bit of a breather but again i think we could be talking about christmas rallies here um, we will be looking on the bigger picture and the bigger picture will indicate that these markets appear now to be going higher um, so that's encouraging i'll take a look at one more market we'll take a look at the s p 500 just to give us a a feeling and an outline of what the u.s markets have been doing so i'm going to look at the weekly chart um, to begin with on the S&P 500 here. And you can see also we've um, very much like the same pattern, price patterns on the DAX. This last three weeks has been very bullish. Now, where the S&P differs a little bit is that we are now coming up to a key resistance area here, a key resistance area. Um, at these highs here, just like I put in the exact high, it's a high of 45.40. Um, so we're very close to those highs. So we are. We met a high here. Our close actually a high of of um, forty five twenty five with a close at forty five oh nine. Um. So forty five forty is a very um significant previous um, lower high, and it's a price action confirmed lower high. This high here, and that means that this is a hurdle that the S and P five hundred on a weekly chart basis has to get over. But again, the bigger picture, I will any any if it, if there is a slightly deeper retracement on the S and P five hundred, I will be using that um, until I see confirmed lower highs 
on that market, um, I will be using any significant retracements to go long. But there's something just a little bit different on the daily chart in the S&P 500. And you can see what that is. You can see I've drawn in this high at 70, 45.40. And on Friday we had, you know, we've had we've had a low range day on Friday, so we have had, and we've had a close that is closer to the low. Probably it's nearly a fifty-fifty bar, but slightly closer to the low than to the high. Um, Thursday was a bullish bar. No, oh, I just um, blow this up a little bit. But on Wednesday with a bearish bar. So if you can see what's happening here, we're starting to come into a little bit of resistance here. And that also, everybody would tie up with the fact that we've got a major resistance area, as I've already said up here, at this 45.40, because that high there was a confirmed lower high. It was a lower high than this high. And it was that high there that indicated that this market here, once those lows were broken there, that this market was going to go lower. And indeed, it done exactly that. So I can see a hurdle on the S&P 500. Um, that may slow down the markets um, such as the FTSE and the DAX. But again, from this very juncture, um, for the week commencing um, the 20th of November, I will be looking and using any retracements as areas from which I'm looking for lower interweek highs from which to go long and perhaps get over these hurdles here and any hurdles that have already indicated on the DAX. So we will continue now. We will look at the Forex markets. We look at um, my key market that I trade, and that is the market that I put up on the Discord, my Discord channel, from which I post live trading signals, a market that's doing very, very well. In fact, since the middle of August, we're up now over a 1,000 pips, folk, all posted on a live basis. So it's been exceptionally um, good and very kind to us. So we will start looking at the pound yen. So in the pound yen on my analysis last week, I pointed out this very low range bar, low volatility bar, low range bar. When we come across a low volatility or low range bar, it tells you one of two things. It's telling you that a market is taking a breather and then it's going to continue in the direction that it previously has been on or that that market is now taking a breather and gathering energy from which to change price direction. But by golly gracious, we had one heck of a fantastic move on the early part, middle part, early to middle part of the week last week on the pound yen. And it broke out. You see this this range here. That was a range that made a low of 184.54 to 185.96, roughly about 140 points from a range on the pound yen and lo and behold the week that just closed friday there we had a low of 184.84 and a high of 188 we went almost from 140 points to nearly a 400 point range you can see that it expanded quite significantly but what am i looking at what am i more keen on I'm more keen to see where this close on the weekly chart was closer to the high or whether it was closer to the low. And looking at this visually, I think it is just slightly below the mid range, which is what we call the mean. But it's a, it's what I would call, a, a, you know, a 50-50 bar, I have to say. So therefore, on that understanding, I'm going to go down to the daily chart. And on the daily chart, you can see that we've had this fantastic start to the week last week. And then from the last three days, which is only to be um, expected when you've got a, certainly a very large range day, you're going to get maybe a little bit of a breather, which we did get on Wednesday after Monday and Tuesday being so f fantastically good. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can uh, describe that as being good. And then we've had three days of um, well, we're two days of inside trading, and technically speaking, this high off last Tuesday should have been broken to the upside. But lo and behold, what did it go and do? It went and broke the low to the downside on Friday. Now, with it breaking to the downside on Friday, again, that's like flipping a coin on its head from a bullish scenario to a bearish scenario because the low of this bar here, the low of that bar there, should have been a key support area. But then when it broke that low, it didn't give us any continuation. It actually started to rally on an intraday basis 
on Friday. And we've got a close here closer to the high than we have to the low. And that also has a reflection, so it has on the weekly bar chart. So I will do the figures for the weekly bar chart and we will work out exactly where it is. So the mean of this weekly bar is 186.57. So what that means is a close above that is a bullish bar, a below that is a bearish bar, and indeed, as you can see, that we closed at actually 186.47. So technically speaking, we close below the mean. Maybe not significantly below the mean, but we close below the mean. So that means from a price action perspective, based on a probability perspective, that we should technically speaking, take out that low of last week at 184. 84 before we take the high out here of 188 um, 188 29 but um this is still because it's not significantly lower and we've had a higher high and we've had a, a higher close in the previous clo week's close it's it's sort of on the balance and as i've already stated that's why i'm looking more at the daily chart I can see probably a little bit of bullishness pushing this market up on the early part of trading, um, the early part of the weekly trading, perhaps, you know, Monday, maybe even into Tuesday. Um, but I think the bigger picture for me will be to look for sell signals. Um, but I will determine where exactly um, that market's going to give me those signals by judging the lower interweek or intraday vertical bar what we call trading pattern high swing highs and swing lows but confirm swing highs and swing lows based on my rule set and if i put on the one hour chart here you can see that my software is painting it has painted the price bars red you can see the bounce up here but they're still in red mode folks so we have got our our intra um intraday um uh, support up around here which you know it was intraday resistance i should say rather than support and um we've got red price bar so i will judge any retracement here i will judge that coming down to see are we going to break these lows here or is that market going to go up but overall overall i will be looking for the pound yen i will be looking at last week's high the 188.29 that is the area that i will be looking at very very closely because a break up through that on this market is good, definitely going to go higher in my opinion but if it continues to keep in red bar mode and if it continues to um, indicate that we are look we're, we're in the blue bar mode on the four hour chart has turned green so that means that there's neutrality into the market again so this is significant folk all right this is significant and again the weekly bar is just not very comprehensive but what threw a spanner in the works was Friday's price action by breaking the low of a bullish daily bar and then retracing and closing bullish. So again, it's it's a market. It's a market that I love. It's one of my favorite markets. It's a market that's doing exceptionally well for me on my Discord channel and for my followers within Discord. But it is a market that's going to have a little bit of patience um, for the beginning of the trading week for me before I see a significant um direction from which i would want to be placing my trades a little bit of neutrality here i have to say um, a little bit like a politician i'm not giving a direct answer but um, if i want to sway a little bit it'll be more slightly more to the downside if we go to the euro dollar another market that i'm very very um sorry what i should say is a market that i'm very very um comprehensively involved with at times on my own trading account um, and with a very bullish weekly bar with a low volatility bearish weekly bar last week and once we took those highs here and those highs are 107.46 and 107.56 once we broke those to the upside um, then that is indicating that that was indicating that there was going to be further bullishness now we are without question from a price action perspective we are certainly in a lower low mode. And that was a previous higher low, and we broke through that. We broke through that higher low. And therefore, the judgment here from a price action perspective is analyzing those two levels there. This level down here, I'll just bring this down, and this level here. And that level up here is a high of 112.75. Now, technically speaking, because we've broken through this confirmed swing low, 
price action vertical bar trading pattern low once we broke through that there once any retracement comes in this market it should technically speaking make a lower high than this high up at 112.75 so you can see that we are very bullish here with a very bullish weekly close now if i flick over to the daily chart you can also see that we had a sideways action look at this downward movement here and all of a sudden we started to bottom out and now you can see we've got a bullish movement here in the daily chart and we broke out on Wednesday and Thursday where we're very much um, sitting on a um, equilibrium across the top um, and consolidating um, and we've broken out to the upside from that but again I will be looking on the euro dollar at that high and that high is at 109.14 and those lows there and those lows are 108.31 so it's this low of 108.31 that I will be looking at um, and then that will maybe be indicating to me if that happens that any retracement breaking through that low may sorry it's not a very straight trend line may give me an opportunity for much to get short providing I get a lower intraday um, price action um, um, lower high and using my software I would like to see that also with red price bars so the euro dollar um, yes very bullish the weekly chart but because it closed at the very highs there may be a little bit of retracement onto that and um, it has a, a bit to travel yet on the upside before we get to that key resistance area um, so I'll just be judging just to see how high it will go but if it if it stays above this low here and that is 108.31 then I will be certainly using that 108.31 as an area from which I will be looking indicating that this market is going to go higher but a break as I've already said through 108.31 on the euro dollar is an area that could indicate that this market then is, is now going to head back down the page a little bit and give us a, a deeper retracement and certainly um, a retracement from which as a trader we can use to our advantage and take some money out of the market okay so i'll look at one more um foreign currency for a foreign exchange pair i should say and that there is the pound yeah the pound dollar pound dollar here you can see again on a daily price action perspective we have had a very bullish bar on tuesday and we've been trading for this past three days inside this bullish bar so the pound dollar cable is a more bullish a more bullish um outlook based on price action than the pound yen has it's, it's certainly clear because because we're trading inside this bullish bar the probabilities of this high of 125.06 being broken to the upside before this low down here is broken to the downside are much greater and if we flick on to the weekly chart you can see that we've also closed if i can just move this out of the way a little bit we have closed with a very clear bullish weekly bar that close there is closer to the high than it is to the low and we broke up through this lower weekly bar high so again what do i say when you break something to the upside when technically speaking you should break to the downside it's like flipping a coin on its head and this is exactly what the pound dollar has done so on that indication i would certainly be looking to buy pound dollar um, on any retracement that it makes into the um, bullish weekly bar range of last week so that is my analysis so pound dollar certainly bullish euro dollar 108.31 is the key level and if it stays above that again bullish if it breaks below that then we could have a little bit of weakness uh, from which it's going to give us enough room to take advantage of and again if i just analyze then the likes of the FTSE for a tracement to go bullish the dax bullish but be a little bit more cautious on the s p 500 because it seems to have hit um, a sort of an equilibrium um, consolidating coming up to a key resistance level um, again that may just knock it down but i think it's only going to be a temporary knock and it will break through that remember it's a little bit when you come to resistance or support the more often you hit that resistance line or support line it's like the little hammer breaking through a bit of ice the more times you hit that ice the weaker it gets and all of a sudden 
away you go. So I can just close off so I can by looking at gold. Um, gold is a very key market and I will take a look at gold before we close for this. And gold has what we call med from my perspective, a railroad track. Why do I say that? Well, if I just blow this up a little bit, you've got a very bearish weekly down bar, like a railroad track going down. And then you've got a very bullish weekly railroad or bar up, like a railroad track going in the opposite direction. So if you just isolate those two bars there, it's like a railroad track, one bearish, one bullish. So again, if I go onto the daily chart, you can see that we've had one, two, three, four, four <clears throat> out of the last six trading days where we've had bullishness. Now, what has happened on Friday here is that we've closed very bearish. We've closed with a very bearish close, indicating that we should, technically speaking, take the low of Friday out to the downside, which I have no doubt we will do because we haven't got an awful lot of action. Um, not a lot of action is required um, before that, that actually happens. But again, with that retracement into this range, in the daily chart range, just be giving me an opportunity from which to go long. And I'd have to say at this juncture, analyzing this market, that is exactly what I would expect to happen. So any retracement into last week's bullish range, okay? I will be providing it doesn't break those lows and that low there, the key low was 1931 on gold. So providing it doesn't break 1931 to the downside, I will be looking at any retracement in the gold market as an opportunity from which to buy. Now, time's gone on, folk. I can look at crude oil. Crude oil is a market that has bounced significantly on Friday. It is a market that um, I've been that has been really kind to me. It's one of my favourite markets. It is closed. Um, I, and in fact, I will just show it very briefly. You can see here on crude oil that we've got a very bearish weekly bar from the week. Um, sorry, this is a daily chart. Uh, on Thursday, we had a very bearish daily bar. And you can see on Friday, we've actually traded inside that bearish daily bar range. So the key level for me, as far as crude oil goes, is the high here of... 76.84. If it breaks 76.84 to the upside, then I can see further movement to the upside on crude oil. Okay. And also on the weekly chart, you can see here what's happened. We had a very bearish looking weekly bar right up until Friday's price action. Um, and although we've met a lower low and a lower high, we've actually closed closer to the high than we have to the low. Um, because if you can see the gap, uh, the gap between the close here and the low is greater than it is between the close and the high. But again, it's like a 50-50 bar with a slight bias to the downside. But it is something that now, um, that from being very negative for, for a number of weeks, uh, for, for two or three weeks here, from being very negative, and from great price action moves, as you can clearly see in the daily charts here, the retracement here, then what happened? We got a bearish bar close. So we had a daily bar close on Tuesday. And Wednesday, Thursday, what a move down, folk. And I'm glad to say that I was able to take advantage of it. But crude oil, now I'm, I'm going to look. So I am very closely at the daily bar high of Thursday. And that there again, as I've said, is 76.84. Breaking up through that. Um, and again, on the weekly chart, and even if you're looking at the futures prices, folk, go to the dailies and weeklies and look at the bar highs. And again, I'd be looking at the, the, the last week's high of this bar here, of this market, is 79.78. So if we break up through the low, or the, the high on the daily chart at 78. 76.84. I can see that market heading north a little bit. And that's the, the key area I'll be looking for is will it break 79.78? Okay, so crude oil for me, I will want to watch the high of Thursday. And if it breaks up through that, then any intraday um, lower retracement and give me a higher low, um, I will be looking to use as opportunities to buy. So again, folk, it's in at beawinningtrader.com if you wish to email me for any questions in relation to trading. Um, go to my Discord channel in the video here, look around where you can see in the description the area from which you can join my Discord channel free for 14 days. 
doesn't cost you one dime for 14 days. And you can then follow my trades and the live trades that I'm posting, remember, are on the pound yen. And also you can follow my trades on the DAX. And all I can say is that we um, are doing pretty well, folks, all right? Because remember the whole secret in trading, methodology number one, methodology must also indicate where you should have your protective stops, number two, of which we have. And then number three, when you get the market right and it goes in your favor to make sure that you can let your profits run. All right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this analysis and I wish you well with your trading for the week ahead. Thank you.